happened to man's best friend? That question is at the heart of a touching new animated movie featuring Bill Murray. Isle of Dogs is about a boy's quest to rescue his beloved pet after a corrupt mayor exiles all dogs to a filthy island. Well, Bill is the voice of Boss, a baseball-loving pooch who shares his struggles with the island's other alpha dogs. I don't think I can stomach any more of this garbage. Exactly. Oh, Same here. Words out of my mouth. I used to sleep on a lamb's wool beanbag next to an electric space heater. That's my territory. I'm an indoor dog. I starred in 22 consecutive doggy chop commercials. Look at me now. I couldn't land an audition. I was the lead mascot for an undefeated high school baseball team. <coughs> I lost all my spirit. I'm depressing. <laughs> but really, you're the opposite of Bill Murray. It's so good to see you. Good morning. I ran in here and I couldn't change my rain boots. <laughs> very nice. Very I know. Nice. What do you think? I think they suit you. I don't think you should ever take those off. <laughs> no. Could you think you'd ever rock a pair of red rain boots like that? Well, I just want to know who the guy was who was trying to find the girl who would fit that boot. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you seeing my feet are big? <laughs> let's talk about the movie. Um, no, let's talk about Roker has got to answer for this 18 inches of snow out there on the street. I, I know. I, I didn't barely made it here in time because they didn't plow my street. I, are you? I, I mean, it's terrible, right? How did you get here? It, it's a miracle. <laughs> this movie is so fun. And, and my boots are distracting you. I know you I keep know, looking at I them. Know. I guess I'm a boot guy. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> the movie is, it's, it's, it's um, animated, it's quirky, it's fun, it's full of heart. You play a dog. You love dogs? I do like dogs, yes. I'm a dog guy. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. actually have, a, there was a really interesting quote. You said that dogs are here for the purpose of enlightening the humans that are their caretakers. Yeah, I've been saying that for a long time, and finally I'm getting some notice on that one. Yeah. <laughs> you are, you are. Yeah. Well, it's a good quote. I mean, have you been enlightened by any dog in your life? Well, I think most of us that have uh, experienced a dog uh, uh, being uh, realize they're much calmer than we are. Yeah. You know, there's only a few rabid ones. There are far fewer dangerous dogs than dangerous people, I would say. Yeah. Hands on that, anybody. Yeah. You're getting yeah. a lot of amens in the yeah. studio for that. Amen. And, then, and some of us are going to be replaced by dogs. Like, it's, gonna be, <laughs> it's just a matter of minutes, I think. <laughs> How did you like doing this and being the voice of a character? Well, it's okay being a voice of a character uh, and to be a dog and to be in a room with all these other actors that were a lot of fun to be with. Did and you get to do the scenes with the other actors? Yeah, yeah. We, oh. we were all sort of in a little cabin uh, kind of a recording studio barking at each other. And it was fun <laughs> to watch people deteriorate and become more canine every hour. There'd be, even though they were drinking coffee and eating donuts, they were becoming more dog-like every, every few minutes. What dog qualities in yourself did you discover? <laughs> That's a question I've never asked anyone, by the way. What dog qualities? qualities in yourself were well, you able to discover? I'm not perfect, but I'm, I try to be non-judgmental oh, in a dog-like way, and, nice. uh, and I'm, I'm loyal. You are. Yeah. You're a little judgmental about my boots, though. I like them. You did? Okay. I, that's all upbeat. I mean, <laughs> if, if, if liking is judgmental, bring it on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about your other project. It's called New Worlds, and it's oh, yeah. a show. It's you, a famous cellist. Yeah, Jan Fogler. Jan yeah. Fogler and a couple of other classical musicians. Yeah, Mira Wong and Vanessa Paris. They play um, violin and piano, and Jan plays the cello. Yeah. And you're taking the show on the road. They play their instruments. You sing as well as do some spoken word poetry, that kind of thing, yeah. correct? Yeah. Now, I didn't know that you could sing, but you can. Well, everyone can sing. Well, everyone not everyone can, can sing well. But most people, a lot of people say they can't sing, but everyone can sing. Yeah. Did you like singing? I mean, there you are singing. I, like, I feel pretty. Yeah. Well, I was feeling it that day. You know, <laughs> I, I'd gotten a lot of sleep, and I'd been taking pretty good care of myself. So I felt I felt stunning. Yeah. And entrancing that particular day. Yeah. Do you feel pretty today? I, I'm, I'm about a six today, maybe a six and a half. <laughs> no, come on. Snow, I mean, the snowfall behind me, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it makes everyone a little bit more pretty. Okay, we all just, we just love having you around. First of all, remember when we were, you, we, we got to sit together at the Golden Globes. Yes, we did. And I always am shocked that you remember this, but. Uh, well, you know, it's not often a girl, you know, you know, well-spoken, attractive, well-raised young woman sits down at your table and eats all the chocolate and drinks all the champagne <laughs> at the table. You know, and that was that was watchable, very watchable. It was very hungry. It was very yeah. There was no food. Well, I guess they starved you people here. I, you I, know? I know. And uh, <laughs> all the chocolate went away, folks. It did. All, all the chocolate and all the champagne. I know. And there, and that really and you were a better person for it. <laughs> no, that happened. Mm -hmm. The night just got better and better mm -hmm. after all that. Mm -hmm. um, we have Priscilla Press across the studio and this is another perhaps little known fact that you actually attended uninvited Elvis's 
funeral. You didn't have to put that uninvited thing in there, but yeah. Um, I did, I did. I was here working at, for Saturday Night Live, and I, something made me want to go, and it was back when they had standby on airplanes. And uh, I was the 27th person on standby, to, and I got on the plane. Wow. And I just went right to the, to the house, and uh, they just ended the sort of visitation, and I met a fellow that I knew that was a photographer. And the next day, I ended up in the bus in front of the cortege, and it was an amazing thing to see, an extraordinary thing to see hundreds of thousands of people standing in a, in a really hot day and, on their, and, and, and waiting and underneath the overpasses, waiting in the shade because it was so hot. And every sign, every, every Burger King said, the king salutes the king, and all, everything had a sign on it. And we got to the, to the cemetery, and um, we were there early, and there was sort of a riot, people trying to get in. And I said, I, I got to go see that. And I started running across the cemetery. And as I ran across the cemetery, all of a sudden, the motorcycles came in. And the motorcycle cops looked at me like, if you move, we will kill you. And I just froze and, and all the cars rolled by and they, all, they were all staring and pointing at me and I thought, oh God, I'm busted. And I realized they were pointing at Elvis's mother's grave. I was standing right at her gravesite. Wow. It was a very interesting moment. Wow. It's a cultural moment. Had you ever met Priscilla till this morning? Well, we were on Tinder together. No, we <laughs> We don't, we don't go back. We, but we get along pretty, she's pretty easy to talk to. She yeah. is indeed, yeah. and we're happy to have her. Phil, thank you so much. It's nice to see you. Isle of Dogs, nice to see you. Isle of Dogs is really good, I gotta tell you. I, and it I, is. What I, wanna, what I want to, what I want to happen is I want movie theaters to uh, allow, allow people to bring their dogs into the movie. That would be a great idea. Because they do it in baseball parks in minor leagues, and it's really a lot of fun. I think if the people brought their dogs, they'd have a huge audience. It'd be fun, and it, it is really it's humorous funny. and, it's really and touching and cute yeah. and all the good adjectives. Thank yeah. you so much. All right. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.